Hello and welcome. Chris from Missouri here bringing you another video about vintage baseball cards. In this video I'm going to show you some cards. But I'm going to also show you a lot more than just cards today. See, um, I changed card rooms. My wife suggested that I take one of the bigger rooms. Now that it's just her and I in the house. And she said, just turn it into your own. And I thought about that and thought about how big a chore that would be. But I, but I got me some help, and, and I started thinking about it beforehand. And see, I've been doing videos on YouTube now for almost 10 months, not quite. October 17th will be my first year of doing YouTube content. And during this past 10 months, I've had so much fun collecting. Um, I get to share my hobby and my thoughts on the hobby with like-minded people and from all around from all around and i've become very good friends um with quite a bit of youtubers and uh i get to see people at the national and other card shows and it's been so much fun so much fun but I've also been influenced a little bit by the youtube community see i've always played my kept my cards close to the vest as they said but uh, you know, I, I used to collect teams or complete sets, but I really didn't display them. So it looked like I was just collecting folders. And my cards have been in these Zion cases, and I just don't show them. But I have a couple of YouTube buddies, Don's Field of Dream Cards and Drew of Vintage Legacy. And I just see, when they sit down and do a video, I get to see their display and how they display cards. So I decided I wanted to do the same thing. So I got my buddy Mauricio, who sets up card shows with me, and some of his workers, and my nephew, Will. And we set out today to move the card room, and we got her done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this phone around and give you a tour of my card room. Now, please forgive me. This is the first time I've ever been mobile on something like this. So I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the door. And I'm going to enter the card room like it would be you entering the card room. So I'm going to turn the phone around, and here I go. As you enter my card room, you'll see that I have these paintings. Um, they're done by a friend of mine here in town, and she turned some sports cards into her own works of art, and I just love them. So as you go here and you turn right and you look, there's my card room. There's my desk where I'm going to be doing a lot of the videos and that kind of stuff. My favorite chair. But here's a poster that I picked up 30 years ago. My wife picked it up in New York. And I have collected every card on that poster. And I'm real proud of it. Here are some bats. Not all these are mine. Some of these autographed bats are my buddy Tyler's. And we're going to be selling bats for over the next year or two. I'm going to be doing a story about this picture right here on one of my future videos. My Salvador Perez jersey. For those of you that don't know, I'm a Royals fan. It's hard to be a Royals fan right now. But I'm a Salvador Perez fan. And I'm also a Cincinnati Reds fan. Now here are about 20 of the basketballs of Hall of Famers, of the 90 basketballs that I have. Here's a softball that's signed by Eddie Fainer. I'm going to do a story about that. A Bob Feller signed ball, a bobblehead that was given to me by a young man at a card show that watches the channel. I'm also a big Johnny Bench fan. And everybody that has a card room has to have this in their card room, don't they? As we go over to the other side, here's the, here's my desk, and I don't have my computer on it just yet, and I really don't have it wiped down. There was a gift from a buddy of mine. Speaking of gifts, I'm, I got it turned around, but those are autographed Freddie Potek cards from a buddy. Uh, George Diamond Yard sports cards. My George Brett. Uh, George Brett has that same photo 
hanging in his house. See the other George Brett in the corner, that was a gift to me from Don's Field of Dreams cards. It's a picture of Freddie Pottek. Let me get a little closer here. Did a story on Freddie Pottek. Five foot, all five foot four of him, and that's Frank Howard in front. I did a story on my friend Bud Thomas. Played 20 games in the major leagues. So this is what I'm proud of, and I really want to show and take my little bit of time showing some cards. But I had this, one of my workers built this for me at work out of used door pieces. I own a company that stains and paints doors. And he took some little pieces, put it together. I'm really proud of this. I just put some cards in here. Uh, I, I like them. It, it took me a while to choose the cards, but and oh, I'm really proud of this. It's my T206 cards. Let me pan out here a little bit. Autographed Beckett magazine of Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio. One of my favorite pieces in this set. Some more cards. In all, close to a hundred cards that I'm showing. And what's different about this is in the past, I would have to get these cards out of a Zion case and go through them. Now I'm a I'm a tops. I'm, I'm, I'm a rookie Hall of Fame, post-war rookie Hall of Fame collector. And I actually have all the post-war rookie Hall of Famers. But I see those all the time. And I look at those a lot. And I don't see these cards. And so I'm proud to have these. And that wall is going to be fun. I get to change that whenever I want to. The cards are easy to get to. And I'll probably use that as a lot of backgrounds in my videos coming up. Here's a pinata that was made for me by one of my workers. I'm going to back up here a little bit where I sit. There's the Zion cases that I have. Uh, that little the t-shirt there was made for me by Scott Reindeer Studios. I don't collect very many autographed baseballs. But I do have some that I'm very proud of. Let me go set up my desk here. So this is my view. I'd like for some of you to come visit. That way you can sit in that chair. and We can share stories about baseball cards. Let me turn this back around for a second. Now guys, I've been doing, I've been doing content now. For less than 10 months and like i said it's been so much fun and there'd be never a time that i would share this with share these cards with hardly anybody a few close friends and stuff but hardly anybody but this youtube is shrinking this community is shrinking um the world to make it easier to have friends from arizona uh pittsburgh florida um, Washington, uh, Texas, Ohio, just everywhere we got friends and I just enjoy it. And I, and I, and I'm having a great time. I hope you enjoyed a tour of my room and I hope you look forward to some videos that I have coming up. I'm getting close to 800 subscribers, so I'll do a video response coming up soon. Um, until then guys, remember it's just a hobby Collect what you like.